Welcome back. How about if we clear out some worry and anxiety today? So, tip number one, most of the stuff that we're calling worry and anxiety are just body sensations. Body sensations that we notice through the nervous system. It might become a clench in the chest, a tightening in the belly, and guess what? They usually happen right after a big expansion. You've done some all weekend workshop where you got great insights about your character or how to move a big project forward or how to go deeper in your spiritual understanding of yourself. Or you've had a big meditation or you went to see a really inspiring movie or you had one of the most incredible dates of your life. Well, here's the thing. It's not too different than an old piece of pipe in a building. Suddenly we're bringing all kinds of fresh, clean, alkaline water through this pipe, right? Well, it's going to jar loose anything that's been sitting on the edges of the pipe. And it's going to bring that through the water. Does that mean the water's gone bad or dirty? No, just got to filter it out. The water itself is clean and it's actually cleansing the sides of the pipe. When you and I have an inspired moment, a big expansion and insight, it's like putting a lot more fresh water through the pipes of our own awareness. It's going to jar things loose from the past that no longer serve us. They may not come up with a story. They may just come up as body sensations. What to do? Number one, come back to the breath I showed you a couple of videos ago. You know, the one for worry and anxiety and fear in or out of meditation. Inhaling deeply into the lowest part of the belly as strongly as you can. Exhaling long, down the legs and out the feet. Two more times. Now, part number two, recall a time when you felt a lot of peace or unconditional love. Just any simple memory will do. Stick with the memory until you begin to feel the sensations open up in the chest, in the belly, and maybe even the breath. It might be recalling the birth of your child or those first great moments with your baby, or your niece or your nephew, or a pet you've had, or the Grand Canyon, or a great hike out in the Yosemite Valley. It doesn't matter what it is. Just get a memory right now. That's right. And now begin to focus on the memory. Let it be real. You're really there experiencing that experience. Notice the body starts to shift. The breath starts to open. Let the breath come in deep and go out long as though you're expanding these positive sensations by breathing into them. Now, make it a habit of those two things. As we continue to grow, we're going to keep experiencing constrictions. Don't add any story to it. Don't go looking for something to be wrong that isn't. Just deal with the sensations. Do the breath. Recall the moment that expands your psyche, expands your positive feeling in the moment. When you're not feeling rough or at odds, take the time to write down several of these incidents that really expand you. Get a few because the same one might not always work. Practice them when you're feeling great. Get really familiar with them so that when you most need them, there they are. And don't add any stories or words. As soon as the sensations start to clear out of the body, my mind, your mind, our way to see what's going on in the moment clears up. And if there is something that needs addressing, we're more able. We're grounded from the breath. We're expanded because of the memory. And we're ready. Have a great rest of the day.